Hey guys, this is Jason coming at you. Today I'm going to give a tutorial on how to connect Key Capture with Facebook Live to stream. All right, guys, so first things first, you will need a computer to get your live streaming information. And I'm gonna show you how to do it, it's really easy. All right, so first I'm going to go on my phone, open up Key Capture. Uh, the app's gonna start, you can see me here, hey! All right, cool. So uh, yeah, I'm in the settings, and I'm going to enable the streaming. All right, so you can see uh, over here, there are three things that we need, the URL, the key, and the, uh, if you need to use a secure connection or not. All right, so for Facebook, it's quite easy. Uh, we go here to live. Now it's gonna open up on this page where it's gonna try to use a camera on your desktop. Don't do that. Uh, go over here to where it says connect. When you do that, it's going to show you all this information. Now, you see we need three things over here. There are three things over here that correspond to that. The first one is right here, use secure connection. Now, I think Facebook made some changes to their information, so they always use secure connection. So I'm gonna enable that on the app. Beam, there it is. All right, and here I have the server URL and the persistent stream key. Now, I know you can see this here, but I can't just copy paste from the computer to the display of the iPhone. Uh, I use notes to do this because I find it easy. So I'm gonna copy here, um, copy here, or paste there, copy that, and uh, paste that there. All right, cool. So I've got the information, and of course, with iCloud. Thank you, Magic, everything syncs. All right, so I'm going to go on the app, or not the app, but uh, copy this. Let's go back to the app and enter the stream URL, save that, and blah, 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 keep going. Copy the stream URL, or the secret key, sorry, I keep saying it wrong, paste. All right, and that is actually it. That's all you need to set this up. I suggest that you use a persistent stream key here. Uh, this option, check it, because what that's gonna do is it's gonna make this stay the same all the time. So you won't have to do this process again. You'll just have to do it this one time and everything will be set up and this won't change. Now, if you don't do it, then this stream key is gonna change every time and you've gotta copy it to the app somehow. So I'm gonna go back, things are gonna activate. Hey, I'm looking at my computer, so. Um, yep, here I am and I'm going to, on, my, on the app, click go live or click the record button and within about 15, 10, 20 or so seconds, you'll see it come here. Now it's gonna be, of course, sideways because that's how you use the app. But yeah, you can see, um, it's a little bit delayed because that's the way Facebook works. And that's the way live streaming works, but this is how you get set up now with Facebook in particular You're definitely gonna go have to go back over here to where it says go live and make sure that you click that now Of course, you know like any Facebook post you can say something about it You can give it a title you can give it some tags, but um, once you click go live That's when Facebook is actually going to see what you're doing They don't see any of this until you click go live so don't forget that step, make sure you click on live. All right guys, that is everything, that is it. If you have any questions, any comments, any concerns, definitely leave them below. I'll help you out, I'll do what I can. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one. Peace.